Hello and welcome to episode 2 of my Time at Porsche tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on starting a new char character in my Time at Porsche and some starting progress. Um, before I get into actually starting a new character, let me just show you something. Um, the change list. So you can see, okay, I'm recording this in July, the end of July, admittedly. Um, what's the date? The 24th. Well, near the end. Um, but you can see, as recent as the end of April, they just did a, uh, a big update and added loads of stuff. And um, they are active with the content in the game, and I think they are. The Derbs are just announcing another update that's coming out that's going to be big. So I, uh, I'm sure it's a new one sure I've read it just recently so yeah so it's great you know like it's continued support for this wonderful game anyway right let's do new and I think ah oh, so right first we got to do my character uh, so it only lets you really start I would describe as a child as it's a little odd that so. I think I'll go talk with the research center first so they might do, think of something. Let's do my voice first. I think I'll go talk with the research center first. No, I think mind. I'll go talk with the research center first. They might. Th I think I'll go talk with the research it center. Now. I think I'll go talk with the research center first. They might think of something. Yeah, so we'll go with voice two. Um, when I was younger, um, I mean when I was under ten, I have these vivid memories of my mum sitting me and my brothers down. My sister was lucky she got out of this. She would sit us down on the stool, put a bowl on our head, and give us a haircut. So there's absolutely no way I'm going with that haircut. Too many bad memories. Um, wait a minute. Let's have a look what we got here. Oh, so that goes onto FaceTime, so it's all done under the hair. Here. So you s select that and then you can use the mouse wheel to scroll through. Let's have a look. I like that hairstyle, but that's not how my hair is. Uh, I shaved it recently, quite short. I like to keep it short, it just seems smarter. Well, it's better than that. Anything's better than that. I'll go with that even, you know. And although that's very feminine, but um, there isn't no hairstyle that really matches my hairstyle so let's go with that one because it just seems nice I like that if I could I'd grow my hair like that but I can't dark brownish that'll do I'm not trying for perfection here there's nothing perfection about me um, skin color just leave defaulted uh, oh we're out doing the face now face type well, I'm actually slim, so looks a bit podgy. Um, no double chin there. Um, what's this one? Upper face. Oh, eye colour. Let's do that. It's sort of a dark green. There we go. Okay, that'll do. Uh, name. Well, I've got to put my name in. Uh, let's see. Anything else? I don't think there is. Decorations. No, I haven't got no beard or moustache. My hair's just short. What can I say? I always keep it trimmed short. Otherwise, I end up looking like a 70s hippie or a 60s hippie. Right, okay. My birthday. Well... I'm going to start on the very first day, so it's not going to be anything like my birthday, but for the purpose of the game, I start here. I could start on the 12th, um, but then that's a fishing day and it's jumping ahead. You need all the time you can get in each month to improve your workshop, so I'm starting at the right day one, and I'd advise you do the same. Okay, it's going to go into a little animate video now, so we'll watch that because it's quite pleasant. Um, and I don't think it'll take long.
We're coming up on Porsche. Whoa, that looks beautiful. What are you going to do there? Ruin diving? Something like that. We get someone like you once in a while. Always seeking that adventure. Good to be young. Well, good luck to you. Thanks. Hi. Right, so here we go. We're starting by talking to Presley. Presley? How do you do? Ah, good to see you again. Hope you had a pleasant journey from Barnarok, right? That's cool. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop, so if you would please follow me, it's pretty close. I wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. No one's been working there since your pa left Porsche so many years ago. He was a good friend. See, it's got the sadness of Stardew Valley. Yeah. Well, he agrees with me. Um, right, so it gives us some little help up there, telling us we can run if we wish. Presley's running. And jump and auto run, which is handy. We don't have to go far. See? And here we are, your workshop. This place sure has seen some wear and tear. What do you think? Looks homely. Now then, here's a letter from your father. He asked me to present it to you when you've seen this house. Gamester, when you read this letter, I already will already be on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that I'm not the father you wanted me to be. This was all so sudden, so I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. Then I thought about this workshop. It might not look like much now, but it will brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. I have left my workshop handbook that details how I created things in my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You will always be my pride and joy. Pa. Here's the workshop handbook of your pa's. Take your time. Come to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Peach Plaza. Can't miss it. Okay, Presley. As much as I'd like to give you a builder license right away, you need to prove your worth through a couple of tests. Got it. Tomorrow. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Bye, Presley. Thanks for your help. So this is how every day starts, with you waking in the bed, just like Stardew Valley. So let's get up. To get up, you press the E key. Ah, my head hurts. I didn't sleep well at all from all the breeze coming through the cracks last night. So we've got our first quest to meet Presley. Also, what my avatar just said about not getting much sleep is because the place is in a state of disrepair. So we're going to need to fix it. We're going to need to fix it up. Just like Stardew Valley. Um, if I press the E key, it tells us what materials we need for that particular patch. So, need 20 wood to fix that gap. Can't do that yet. I'll show you why in a bit. This one and he needs three wood so it's not always a great ton of materials you can see this over here the home panel we check it vastly different isn't it from the one I showed you in episode one but that's how you start my friends and it's going to be a lovely adventure um, okay so it's all pretty basic and all pretty beaten up that's the thing that they should have done in the character generation. Giving you a hammer so you could put a few dents in the bodywork. Because that's what I got. A few dents in the bodywork. Anyway, enough of that. Let's exit.
So, okay, I did slightly exaggerate by saying you get a small little postage stamp, but I mean, come on, for goodness sake, look, we've hardly got any room to do anything. This house is way too big and it's stuck in the middle, so that needs to be moved. How do we move a house? Well, I'll show you. Um, so, yeah, it's a tiny area, but we're at the very beginning of the game, so it's what we would expect. Okay, we've got to go and meet Presley. Now, time is a factor in this game. You always need to keep your eye on the bottom right clock. Um, especially when you start doing commissions. But it's too soon for me to talk about that. Let's check the mailbox. Ah, we've got a letter from Porsche Times. Hello, new subscriber. This is... The Porsche Times. We are sponsored by the city government and the local commerce guild branch to bring you the latest news in our city for free. It's always nice to get free. We are a monthly publication so papers will be sent out on the first day of each month. If you have any questions or concerns please do not hesitate to visit our main office on Main Street, Porsche Times. We will be visiting it because it's very good to be visiting it and we, you, will see why in the future. Oh, there's a chest. We aren't going to open it yet. It's got some goodies in it. I love the way things sparkle like that. Look at it, isn't it? Pretty. Nice. Notice there's no travel station there. That's the future. Ah, here is um, Peach Plaza. That's it. And there's Lee and Sonia. He's the local preacher, by the way. Up in the church, up there. Anyway, so where are we going? In the last episode, I incorrectly said the town hall was here. This is not. This is the Commerce Guild, as it says. The town hall, of course, is where the mayor is, which is in here. There. Which is right next to the Commerce Guild. But we've got to go in here. Most important building in the game. Nice to see you. How are you settling in? Well, I haven't really spoken to anyone but you so far, but I'll say very well to give a positive start to this. Great! Affair. Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. We're the organization that orchestrates trade across the entire Free Cities region. This is the Porsche branch. We're pretty busy throughout the year. Now then, let me give you your builder That's test. How it works. This Isn't is pretty cool? easy. Make experience. an axe and pickaxe and bring them to me. Ex we got experience then and reputation with them. So they like us a little bit better. Not much. Hardly, well, a drop in the ocean, but still. It, 10 is actually quite a good boost. Um, right, so he wants to give us a test. He wants us to make an axe and pickaxe. You need to have wood and stones to make these. You can gather them on your own or buy them from the Total Tools in Central Square. I don't think I've got any money. After you have the raw materials, you'll need to craft the items on a work table. I saw your pa's old one in your yard, so check and see if that still works. So there we go. We got the builder test. The first builder test, simple axe, pickaxe. We want to get busy because we want to get a commission before this day is done. So let's get out of here and let's go do what we've been instructed to do. So yeah, if you do the shift key, that'll speed you up a bit. Ah, right, gathering. So we don't have tools, so we can just gather these resources that are on the ground, wood and stone. The building blocks for everything. Once we've gathered some, we'll go and do our task. You don't have to worry about being attacked. There's no hostile creatures around here. 
So it's just a case of going and gathering. That should be enough. Uh, you're getting experience as well as the resources. And with experience, we can improve our life force and our stamina. Although, you know, I believe stamina to be the most important stat to increase to start with. It all revolves around stamina you're crafting, or you're harvesting at least, and fighting. Right, okay, so here's our workbench. And one thing I really, really love about uh, my time at Porsche is when you get a quest to make some items if you click on this exclamation mark it gives you the quest items you need to make how cool is that so if I click a simple axe uh, so it's going to use up two stamina per swing something to keep your eye on with your tools as you upgrade them uh, it's very handy for cutting down bushes and small trees attack 50 hold the attack key for the continued attack and it's from a work table level one because you can upgrade your work table and unlock further more advanced recipes so five wood eight stone yep let's click craft we only want one there you go got that got a bit of xp for making it and now a pickaxe oh look at that only just enough wood cool there we go we come out of there. The quest is now updated. You can see it's got the tools listed in the top right there, the builder test. Now we head back. And what you see going on here is Lee and Nora, or when she is lovely, is Nora. We'll be seeing and talking to her lots. They, <coughs> excuse me, work up in the church. And at certain days, they come down here and have a market store. A store, which is very, very useful. It's where we buy our irrigation and our irrigation tower and the irrigation flooring from. And remember I said about the data disks? Well, there's just one excellent use for them, being able to buy these items out of here. And they do seeds, so they do some good stuff. Anyway, let's focus. We're on a mission. I have to pass this test as I don't get my workshop rank or license. Right, so let's go talk to him. You see how it's got the little yellow dots that tells you he's ready for your quest to advance or finish. Ah, excellent quality. Nicely done. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Now for the second test, you are to build a stone furnace. This one's a bit tougher. You need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. Hmm. If I remember correctly, your pa kept a very detailed account of the things he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook and see if you can find a diagram for the stone furnace. Once you have a diagram, just use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. This is so wonderfully done. So let's show you. So if I press the, um, can I remember what key it was? I won't know. I'll just go through here. So here in the handbook. Oh well, let's just check this. So the builder test. Um, so we got the second test, which is make the stone furnace. So if we go into the handbook and we scroll through, there's the stone furnace. From this page, we can see that we need uh, 10 wood and 10 stone. We need 10 stone to make one stone stool and 10 wood. So that's the end two resources, but first we need the stone to make the stone tool. Nothing difficult about that, so that's what we're gonna do. So really you're checking this to see how much resources you need to go gather. So I need 10 of each, what have I got? Nada. Oh, I've got five stone. Let's put it there. Don't need it there. We got one wood, so I need five stone and nine wood. No, really? Has time gone that quickly? And I'm only just starting to have fun. Okay, well, the time I don't lie, you know. So, I hope uh, you're enjoying this new series. 
it is just going to get amazingly wonderful with the fun that you can have playing this. Anyway, we've got started. We've got our first two tools. In the next episode, we will build our very first... Um, it's not a machine, but we'll be build our very first bit of workbench. Our first um, furniture, which... Well, I don't know if it's furniture. Anyway, we're going to get to building in the next episode. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching. And have a fantastic day. Goodbye.